Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Breakaway Director Timothy Atik, who just brought a message from John 21. Welcome. Thanks. So glad to have you back. Love yes. getting to be so at the So I love how last week we looked at the question from Jesus. Yep. This week we looked at another question. Yep. And we talked about guilt and shame and regret, yep. which everyone yep. at That's right. some point That's has right. something, uh, whether it was yesterday or in your past yep. or maybe even this morning. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that we, we have uh, that we respond in that way. Mm -hmm. um, and so we had a question come in um, that is talking about guilt and shame over uh, past mistakes. And I'm just going to read it to you. Yeah, great. Um, they wrote in and said, I've wronged people in the past, and I, f I feel like I've given that over to God and asked Him for forgiveness. But when I see those people, these feelings of guilt and shame and embarrassment, they just keep flooding back, so I want to avoid them. Mm -hmm. um, is this because I haven't truly given it over to God or, or forgiven myself? Um, and I guess I'm worried that if maybe I act natural around them, they would wonder if I was embarrassed or I yep. cared about what I did. Sure. Um, so you can have guilt and shame over, you know, your behavior towards other people. Right. And it can carry over Absolutely. just like this. What, yeah. what insight or advice would you have for them? Well, it's a, it's a great question. And I would just... I would say a few things. Number one, make sure that if you have wronged them, make sure that you haven't just asked God for forgiveness, but that you've actually asked them for forgiveness. When it, when there is sin, a lot of times there is a, um, a vertical component and there's a horizontal component to it as well. And so it might feel awkward if if there's never been any type of reconciling conversations mm -hmm. where you've gone to them and just said, here's what I did, will you forgive me? Mm -hmm. And you can't control their response. That's really just a matter of you keeping your side of the street clean. Just you saying, I need to make sure that I do everything that I've been called to do, which is if I've wronged someone to, to ask forgiveness. So there is that. Um, if you have asked forgiveness from them and you still feel that way, there, there really is something to forgiving yourself because I do think, and I think I've experienced this, but I do think it's possible for people to experience mm. God's forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You, you understand and embrace that God has forgiven you, but you just struggle to forgive yourself. And that is, you know, that's, that has to be a choice, not a feeling, because you have to remember feelings are real. They're just not always reliable. So that's a what a good pastor friend says. And your feelings, you'll wake up sometimes and your feelings will tell you that you're still a failure because of what you've done. So you have to make decision to say, you know what? If, if God has forgiven me and Jesus paid for this on the cross, I don't have the right to hold this against myself anymore. I take what he says about me more seriously than what I say about myself. Right now I'm saying I'm a failure. Jesus has already said, you're forgiven. You have my favor. What he says trumps what I feel, if that makes sense. The last thing I would say is, you know what? Sometimes that awkwardness, like to, to be concerned about um, what they think and if they question whether you should still feel embarrassed, it's normal and natural for us to for us to want the acceptance of other people and people are really fickle mm. and one day you'll have people's acceptance and approval and another day you won't and so you just have to remember that you need to be a god pleaser not a man or a woman pleaser and so it, you take what jesus says more seriously than what they say if god has called you to walk in freedom then it would be wrong for you to care whether they think you should still be embarrassed by it yeah, or not. Such such a good response. And as we see at the end, I just love how you talked about between the two charcoal fires, yeah. there was the cross That's and how right. he wants to trade yeah. 
that yeah. guilt and shame and yeah. it was such a powerful message yeah. so thank yeah, you thanks a yeah, lot we, yeah i'll just say this i was just talking with a friend afterward when i left and he just said man i can identify you i tend i i can identify <laughs> with you i tend to kind of carry some of those things longer than i need to and i just thought man that's exactly right it's a choice you're making to carry something that Jesus has already taken, dealt with, mm -hmm. canceled out, and removed. So today you have a chance to lay it down and let him trade those stories. So good. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, uh, we loved bet. having you here. Thanks. Love to be here. All right. Can't here. wait to see you again. Yeah. And thank you for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.